Right. Hello, everybody. So, if you're joining us online, um, before you do this stretching class, if you want to just do some sun salutations to warm yourself up. Um, you can either use the beginning of um, one of the classes that we've already got online because they pretty much all start with some salutations or you can find something on YouTube or you can do it from memory. Okay, so we're just going to do some um, gravity yoga today. Um, we've all, well, I've had a break. I don't know whether you guys have had a break while I've been off. Um, so I just thought we'd do a bit of stretching today and ease ourselves into it. So props that you're going to need. Um, you'll probably need a brick. You'll definitely need a, you will need a brick. You will need a strap. Um, I don't think you'll need anything else, just a brick and a strap. Yep. Okay. So we'll start off sitting with our legs in front of us in a star pose. Grab a block. I grab two blocks just in case. Okay. So sitting with your legs out in front of you and sitting up tall. Now, if you can't sit up tall, get yourself a block, cushion something, just give your bottom a little bit of height. Okay, and that'll just help you to keep that back straight. So fingertips on the ground, and as you breathe in, grow your spine. And as you exhale, relaxing your shoulders down your back. Trying to maintain some of that height that you've created in your spine. Breathing in to grow. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. So we're just going to do a simple forward fold here. Um, if you'd like to grab your, oh, get this to work. Yeah. So lock in between your legs, and you're going to lean forward and let your head let, rest your head on the block. That's why I've said to bring the second block. Um, off the start however high you want, and then just relax. And breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And breathing in. and out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose, out into eight. Down to four. And exhaling for eight. In through the nose, four. And out through the mouth for eight. And just carry on with this four eight breathing. And as you breathe out, just feel your whole body just sinking, relaxing, seeking out bits of your body that might be holding tension and releasing it. If you feel you want to um, remove a block, lower a block to bring yourself further forward, 
the crease to your up. Bring pain in through the nose. And out through the nose. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. And on with the breath. You're about nearly halfway there with this one. Relaxing your hands and your arms. A minute to go. Okay, so if you'd like to just really slowly bring yourself out of this. And then come down onto your back. And just rest here for a moment. Make sure that your tailbone is going down. Just resting your lower back. And maybe bringing your knees up to your chest. Give yourself a little back massage on the mat. Okay. Right, we're going to do a blaster next. So, um, if you'd like to bring yourself on two hands and knees. Um, and what I want you to do is to bring your right foot forward on the outside of your right hand. Okay. And then let your left leg go straight back. And we're going to just rest here. So you might want to build you want, um, prefer um, onto your elbows. So that's probably a bit too far down. So if it is, then build yourself a little few blocks just to put your elbows on. Okay. 
We're going to stay here for three minutes and then we'll do the other side. So your, um, your right knee is just relaxing. It could probably just roll out a little bit. And I want you to breathe in through your nose now and out through your mouth. Relaxing your, your head and your neck. Keep going with your breath. So while you're obviously having to support yourself on your elbows, try and make sure that your, the rest of your body is totally relaxed every time you breathe out. Just breathe out those areas and release. Just a minute to go. Twenty seconds. Okay, so coming up onto your hands, moving any blocks out of the way, planting your hands on the floor, stepping back and coming into a child's pose. That's your belly. Okay, and then coming back up onto all fours, grabbing your props, and this time bringing your left foot forward onto the outside of your left hand, letting your hips sink, and resting your elbows onto your onto the floor or onto your bricks or blocks, relaxing your head, and start to breathe. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. In and out.
the left foot might be rolling over slightly onto the outside of your foot. If it is, that's absolutely fine. We're going to do halfway. Twenty seconds. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. And then slowly bringing your hips back up, back into tabletop and pushing back into the child's pose just for a few minutes or rather a few moments relax your body Okay, well done. We shall move on to the next pose. <clears throat> okay, so if you'd like to grab your strap, you may or may not need your strap. I'll have it there in case. Okay, so we're lying on our backs. We'll just lie here for a moment, just let your groin settle. Okay, and then you're going to stretch it out your left leg towards the wall and then bringing your right leg up and grabbing hold of your foot either with your hand or putting a strap over the ball of your foot and holding onto the strap. And we're going to stay here for just a couple of minutes. And just let the weight of your arm, just bringing your foot further and further up. Maybe feel a nice stretch down the back of this leg, and maybe down the front of your um, left leg. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth.
Okay, now we're going to take our leg to the uh, right hand side, either holding onto your foot or onto the strap, just letting your leg drop down and stretch and breathe. Keeping the left side of your body on the floor. Left arm out to the side. Palm facing up. Inhaling for four through the nose. And you exhale through the mouth for eight. Relax. Let go. And again. Thirty seconds to go on this. <clears throat> oh, very nice. Okay, so bringing your leg back up, removing the strap and taking your leg slowly back down to the floor. Maybe give your groin a little massage. Okay, so stretching that right leg out and this time bringing your left leg up, grabbing your foot with your hand on your strap and breathe. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Release, let go. Thirty seconds to go. Okay, so 
Now taking your right arm out to the side and your left leg to the left. And breathe. Keeping the right side of your body on the floor. Every time you breathe out, just keep checking, turning your body, looking for any tension, and release. Thirty seconds to go. Okay, so bringing your leg back up to centre, releasing down, bring it back down to the floor. Maybe giving the groin a little bit of a massage. Okay, so rolling onto your side, and we're going to do a frog now. So. For this, I'm going to probably show you from the side first. So your knees go out as far as they can with your lower leg parallel with the edge of the mat so that your hips are just sinking, okay? And you can either be on your hands or your elbows, or you can just let your upper body come down onto the floor and breathe. So you've got right angles, you've got a right angle from your torso going out and then from your knee going down to your um, ankle, okay? Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. In for four, out for eight. In for four, and out for eight.
we're over halfway there. Just another minute. Thirty seconds to go. Okay, so really carefully bringing your knees back together and rolling onto your back. Taking a brick. We're just going to lie with our brick on its lowest setting underneath our sacrum. Relaxing our legs, legs and feet apart. And just relax here for a few minutes. Okay, so bending your knees, feet to the floor, lifting up, remove the brick and bringing your lower back onto the floor. Okay, so knees up to your chest. Just doing little circles, hands on your knees, just doing little circles with your hands. And then dropping your arms to each side with your palms facing up, let your knees drop towards your right armpit. And then taking your left leg and holding your foot with your right hand and looking over to the left. If you can't reach your foot, use your strap or just let the foot fall.
and releasing your foot, rolling back onto back to centre, and then letting your feet drop down towards your left armpit, straightening your right leg, maybe grabbing your foot or just letting it relax down. Right arm out to the right, palm facing up and looking over to the right. Okay, release, coming back to centre, dropping your feet to the floor, knees dropping out, soles of your feet together. Let's just let your knees drop down, bringing your arms overhead, holding your elbows. That's comfortable for your shoulders. And change the crossing of your arms. And releasing your hands, using your hands just to bring your knees back up together and let your legs straighten out legs apart, letting your feet drop out, shoulders on the ground, palms facing up, palms relaxed away from the body. And just taking a few breaths and just relaxing onto the floor. Relaxing your toes and your feet, your ankles, your lower legs, your knees and your thighs. Relaxing your glutes and your hips, belly, your groins. Feeling the ground all the way up your back, shoulders, and down the backs of your arms. Turn your head to the right. And back to centre, turn your head to the left. centre and then just lifting your head bringing your chin towards your chest and rolling that back down and just let go
Okay, so wiggling your fingers and your toes, bringing yourself back up to the surface. Nice stretch. And then curling up and rolling onto your right hand side using your right arm as a pillow. Just relax here for a moment. And then bringing yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Well done, guys. Namaste.